Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Game and Pie. Last time, we took down three of the Robot Masters and got quite a few bolts in the process. So I'm going to go to the shop to, uh, show you what's over here. Alright, so yeah, extra lives, E-Tanks, Weapons Tanks, Max Tanks, or Mystery Tanks. Uh, it's this thing that gives you only half damage after you use it. Uh, you can make Mega Man lose his helmet, just that it's just his hair. Energy Balancer, we're gonna buy this real quick. Makes it so that um, if you have a weapon with full ammunition and you pick up weapon ammunition, it'll automatically go to um, the weapon with the least ammunition. We have um, infinite hit protection and spike protection, and we have Eddie, he gives us random items. Um, I'm gonna save my bolts for now for pretty much everything else. Uh, I'll probably buy a bunch of stuff whenever I get to uh, the Wily stages. So yeah, onward to Nitro Man! Alright. Man is a motorcycle transformer guy. It makes you wonder what would happen if Nitro Man got one of those spark things from the Transformers series. He'd be able to be a robot that can transform into a motorcycle that can transform into another robot. Or maybe he would transform into a different vehicle, I don't know. I don't know anything about Transformers. <laughs> I just know that it would be awesome. Now really, this level is where Chill Spike shines either the most or the second most, because of this. Watch, watch. Boom. That's pretty cool. Plus, uh, it's the it's what's strong against the boss of this level. So that's always a plus. Ow. Matt, you're not being nice. That was a close one. But uh, BAM! Chill Spike, you are awesome. But this is just the um, chill part of it. We haven't even gotten to see what the spike part is yet. That's, um, that'll be mostly in uh, Blade Man stage, probably. That's when I use the uh, spike portion of it most. And there's spikes, so be a better job. But remember, there is no such thing as inertia. That doesn't work, now does it? Bam. I'm chasing that bullet. Uh, oh, ran past me. E tank! Okay. So we got a med here. Likes to shoot. But fortunately, it's dead. Alright, we have little puzzles down here involving these uh, count bombs. Gotta grab my bolts. I'm not gonna make it. Nope. There wasn't a whole lot down there anyway. Uh, okay. What do I use here? What do I use? I'll, uh, freeze him. Bam! And, uh, shoot him. Very nice. Whoa, hello there. I'm going to turn water shield on now. Ow. Going through my water shield, you are not. Ow! Water shield, why aren't you being as awesome as you're supposed to be? Okay. The thing about water shield is that it absolutely tears through bad guys. Alright, so. Here with Nitro Man, coolest intro ever. This is the idea. It only does weakness damage if you hit him with the spike section. So, you know, you, you kind of want to hit him with the spike section. And he was actually quite easy. He didn't do his other attack, in which he uh, throws those wheel cutters all over the place. They climb up the wall, and they fall down to wherever you're standing. Um, yeah, that, he was actually quite nice to me there. Very surprising. Anyway, now we have the wheel cutter. No nitro in it, for some reason. 
Um, it's your standard go across the ground attack, except uh, it can also climb up walls. And if you hold the button, the attack button, it'll let you you climb up a wall because you'll just hold out in front of you. And um, if you stand next to a wall with it in front of you, it'll room you up. We also get the rush jet, so that's cool. All right. Oh, and it's plot. I'm not caring. Okay. Onward to Commando Man. I don't know why Nitro Man is strong against Commando Man, but he is. Also, we're about to see one of the only places where I actually like to use the Thunderbolt. Those enemies. They're too high for you to hit. Ah, oh, come on. You suck. Bam. Seriously, this is like the only level that I think the Thunder Roll is useful in. Oh, come on. You suck. That's why I don't like using the Thunder Roll on a regular basis. Alright, now this is a split path here. I forgot to mention there was one of these in Pump Man's stage as well. It, it looked pretty much the same as that room. No enemies or anything. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Nope, no weapon ammunition. Would have kind of liked some. Ah. Just doing that to freak you out right there. What the? Okay, well, that was weird. It reflected while he was turned around. Okay. Hmm. What should I use here? No. 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 Okay, I guess I'm just going with the bus. Route. Met, you will die. In this room, there are sandstorms. They push you back and make it impossible to see the terrain. Really, the fact that they push you back isn't so bad. It's the fact that you can't see the terrain. That's the real problem. When we have these guys. There's always this little enemy that'll jump out of a pit. Well, there's usually an enemy that'll jump out of a pit in a Mega Man game. They try to knock you back in. Okay. Point. You can also use the sandstorm to um, increase your speed so you can get over there. This is the only mine that you want to break. There are bolts in here. Very useful. Oh, hey. Okay, mission. That's cool. Yeah, that's what the energy balancer does. Oh, another one. That's great. Okay. Let's go for some chill spike. Oh, come on. That wasn't cool. Now die. Die more. You aren't dying fast enough. Die! More sandstorms. Ow. Yeah, they have explosions. Normally, I'm all for explosions, but not when they're in my face. That isn't fun. That, um, that typically hurts if you have an explosion in your face. Now what you really want to do in this room is make it so that there's a wall in front of you so you can just keep on running and not have to worry about Oh my gosh, am I going to run off the platform? Or, oh my gosh, am I going to be knocked into those spikes behind me? That's not fun. Now this room, I hate this room. The sand is coming behind you and what you really want to do is um, just try to let it carry you through the room. Um, I, I actually did it successfully there, I'm surprised. Uh, normally I have a very difficult time with that. I usually, like, trip over a med or something and fall down a bit. And that's how you use the wheel cutter. More tips on using the wheel cutter in this battle. Alright, off to fight Commando Man. This is fast. Normally I don't play this level that well. Kind of like Drill Man again. Okay. Ow. Okay. That did not hurt me too bad. Yes, this is what you really want to do. Whoa! That is not what you want to do. Ah! Are you going to be dead soon? Yes, you are! Okay, so, uh, yeah, basically what you want to do is, um, he'll always jump before shooting, unless he doesn't. And whenever he jumps, you want to run under him so that his commando bomb cannot chase you and blow up in your face. And, uh, shoot him. You have to be careful, though. Don't stand too close to him or else he will basically just punch you with a bomb. Like he did in there once. Commando bomb is pretty simple. You can change its direction twice while in midair. It blow. It causes an explosion when 
you, um, whenever it hits the, the wall or something. And, uh, if you just hit an enemy with the bomb itself, it does standard buster damage. Which isn't good, because it doesn't have a lot of weapon ammunition. I'm going to Solar Man next. Technically speaking, I could have gone to Solar Man after I beat Pump Man, because, um, that's almost the only weapon that I use. But I like to go to, uh, Commando Man stage first, so I can just rush through a section real quick, because there's... It's the weapon in this game that can break certain types of walls. There's typically one of those weapons. Thunder Beam, Super Arm, Crash Bomb, Hard Knuckle, uh, uh, Drill Bomb. I don't know if there was one in five. I'm suddenly blanking. I, I can't think of one in five. Did that one even have break of rules? That's weird. I can't think of the one in six either. Uh, I know that Astro Crush was used in eight. Um, I don't know why I'm talking about this. These are all. This is all like, completely irrelevant to this game. But you get the idea. Most of the Mega Man games have a weapon that you can break certain types of walls. And uh, the Commando Bomb is one. For some reason, the Laser Trident was the one in nine. I have no idea why that one, why they decided that one was going to be the weapon that broke certain types of walls. But whatever. All right. Well, that was Suzak and Phoenix. If you're good at fighting Heat Man, you'll be good at fighting those two. Heat Man is from Mega Man 2, in case y'all didn't know. But most people know about Mega Man 2, so, yeah. Okay, yeah, you little fire guys. They jump out of the wall now. Breaking physics? Of course! I love breaking physics. It's fun. Fire! The Flames of Justice! Oh yeah. Oh, and that lava down there? Yeah, that's instant death. So you kind of avoid hitting that. It, it's just a suggestion, but um... That probably just filled with fresh coil, anyway. Okay. Now this section up here, this is kind of why I wanted to get the Commando Bomb. I can go through that section on the right, but I don't like to. And there's an E-Tank over here, so that's always a plus. Boom. Yep. Wall destroying powers. Ah. Ow. I'm just gonna run past you now. Okay! Water shield activated. Alright, this is Solar Man. He's pretty annoying, really. But his weakness absolutely tears him apart. Sometimes you'll basically just be able to run into him with the water shield and he'll die immediately. Other times you have to do it a couple times. This is one of those cases where you have to do it a couple times. Hitting him with the, uh, hitting the water on that little flame on his head will, um, power him down. But hitting him with the Mega Buster and most of your other weapons will actually make him stronger. The shots that he fire get bigger. Um, he jumps around. Uh, he's annoying. I really don't know what else to say about Superman. But anyway, this is his weapon, the Solar Blaze. I have to want to call it the Solar Flare. For reasons that should be fairly obvious. Um, it's a defense breaking attack. It's, um, what else? It attacks in both directions, of course, so that isn't often used. Um, it's a very tall shot, so you're able to hit many opponents with it at once. It, it'll actually just go straight through pretty much anything. The only thing that I think it doesn't go through is Pump Man's water shield. And that's Pump Man's water shield. That's it's not supposed to work against that anyway. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm pretty much out of time now. I'm Mr. Game and Pie, and uh, I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.